also, I have a camera that takes very good low light pictures. This is ambient light rather than with my flash on. So it gives you a little better idea about how diamonds glow. That's one of the ways that I look and see a diamond instead of some other lesser uh -huh, gemstone because diamonds glow, even the clear ones, man. Uh, and they don't all glow. Uh, they, they definitely do not. I have lots and lots and lots of rough. And the, the ones that glow stand out. They, they stand out. And you can see them. You can pick them and select them. So that you end up with stones like this. And I love this low light because you can see the, the natural colors of the stone and the sparkliness anyway. It, they glow even in low light. That's how you know it's a diamond. Because what happens is light slows down in the stone catches it. It captures the light. And so that's what we're seeing there. Look inside that purple one. Now this is through plastic. <laughs> oh man, you ought to see it uh, in person. Um, these are spectacular. Let's blow that up a little bit. And you can uh, look at the dog here. And, and there we go. I try to clean these, I'm sorry, there's a, there's a little smudges on there, and it's just finger oils. I should probably uh, learn to use white gloves, but I'm not exactly the white glove type. Kind of like um, takes your breath away. And they're uh, tremendously beautiful. And this is uh, in the uh, in my shadow, okay. I, 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 and um, they they do test positive for diamonds for all you guys who say, oh, let's test them. Well, I did, of course. They are ten on the Mohs scale of hardness. I checked. I checked each one of them. And this is my, my Mosonite, Mosonite tester. Just spit off. All right, let it calm down for a minute. All right, turn it on. It's ready to go. A little button on the back, and when I, when I mash my the tip into the the thing, let's 
see if I can. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They are not moistening. Not that it's really a problem, because you know what? These two, one is a diamond, and one is moistening. Can't tell the difference. And you know what? It occurs together in deep diamond mines like mine and like in Brazil. It occurs in a, in a solid solution series with silica and the silicon carbide, this middle point between silica and carbon. And there it is, and and you can't tell the difference, man. I, uh, you can't. They're not. It's one of those non-problem things, man. <laughs> it's it's like not a problem. It's a feature. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And you know, cause. I mean, I like pretty diamonds, I do, and I check, I check these just to see, right? But I don't care, because, you know what? I'm not going to charge $10,000 a carat for these. I'm going to more charge $10 a carat. So if you would do, well, it might be more than that. Ten dollars a carat. Ten carats each. There's about twenty carats of diamond. Uh, yes, I would sell those for two hundred dollars. That's about two hundred dollars worth of wholesale diamond in today's market. It's not worth a bazillion dollars. It's not. <laughs> it's it's absolutely stunningly beautiful, but it's not worth a bazillion dollars. And if you have it at a bazillion dollars, nobody gets to see stuff like this, right? These would be so out of price. I <laughs> told a friend that I would sell him one of these for two hundred dollars. And he almost had a heart attack. Because <laughs> uh, he didn't understand that I would have been making $200. I, I didn't hardly pay anything for these. A few dollars, $10, $15. Something like that. That's what I paid for them. And that's what they are. They're, they're diamonds. They're, nobody's trying to fake me out, man. They don't. And they know what that I know what I'm buying. And that I know what they're selling. And together, maybe, we're going to change the diamond market. Because monopolies are a drag, man. Everybody loses from monopoly. 